Hello and welcome to our tutorial. Today we will show you how to use the Bosch IP camera systems in a visualization with Peakboard. We begin the tutorial with the Bosch Configuration Manager, where we first set up the MQTT broker for our camera using a broker provided by Peakboard. After setting up the broker, we switch to the VCA tab where we can define new tasks for the camera under Tasks. Our first task will be a counter to count the traffic. After naming the task, we define a line. Every vehicle that crosses this line in the predetermined direction increases the counter. We decide that all types of vehicles should be counted. Next, we create another counter to count the number of people crossing a specific line on the sidewalk. We define a new line above the sidewalk and count movements in both directions by selecting the direction type any and setting the object group to people. We also want to count the occupancy in front of the traffic light. We select the occupancy rule, define an area where objects will be counted, and place this area in front of the traffic light. Only vehicles will be counted in this area. After completing the rules in the Bosch Configuration Manager, we switch to the Peakboard Designer. There, we set up an MQTT data source to access these values. We name the data source, enter the previously defined MQTT broker, and create a subscription. Since data is passed as a string, we create a data flow in the next step to change the data type to number. We also want to display the current time and thus set up a time data source. When designing the visualization, we create a header containing a title for the dashboard, the current time, and the date. We also display the values and add icons representing the two counters. We link text fields with values from the data flow and give these values titles. To visualize the occupancy, we create a new section in the visualization and use a circular gauge linked to our data flow. We also establish conditional formatting to color the circular gauge under specific conditions. To create a history of the occupancy, we add a new list in the Peakport Hub called Traffic Occupancy History. This list will store the history of the occupancy in front of the traffic light. We sort the list by the ID column and ensure the most recent values are always displayed. To prepare the values in a data flow for use in a chart, we change the date format and sort the values ascendingly by the ID column. We select an area chart to visualize the occupancy in front of the traffic light and adjust the value for the y-axis, the maximum value for the y-axis, and the interval for our grid. With these steps, the visualization is complete, and we can preview how pedestrians and traffic are counted and how the current occupancy in front of the traffic light adjusts depending on the traffic. This data is historized in the Peakboard Hub and displayed in our chart. Thank you for watching.